This is the smallest and cheapest Wi-Fi access point from Mikrotik. Let's see how good really is this tiny thing. Are you tired of your house or working place having Wi-Fi dead spots or inadequate signal strength in some locations? Look no further. Let me introduce you to the Mikrotik CAP Lite. The Mikrotik CAP Lite turns your home into Wi-Fi Wonderland, where even your pet goldfish can stream funny cat videos. It is an effective and cheap way to expand the reach of your wireless network. Today we'll learn more about the Mikrotik CAP Lite, an access point with many of features that may expand the reach of your wireless network. Join in as we will go through the installation procedure, configuration options and advantages it offers your home or workplace network. Let's start by understanding what makes the Mikrotik CAP Lite stand out. We'll explore its compact design, robust features and how it can fit seamlessly into any environment, whether it is your home, small office or retail space. The price of this device is around 30 US dollars. In the box we get two white covers one rounded and one in the shape of some kind of rectangle. There is of course the Mikrotik CAP itself. The power adapter, power with Ethernet injector and fastening set. I opened the case two years ago, so I'm not sure if there were some instructions inside or not. In any case, we can find them on the Mikrotik website, so check out the links in the description. In the description you will also find the links to the Mikrotik devices itself, so if you can decide to buy them or use my affiliate links, which helps me a lot. Thank you. The Mikrotik CAP Lite is designed to provide affordable and efficient wireless coverage for small to medium sized areas. With its compact design, the size and passive POA support, it can be easily deployed and powered without the need for additional power adapters. The access point supports the popular 2.4 GHz frequency band and provides wireless speeds up to 300 megabits per second, allowing for smooth connectivity and data transfer. Its minimalist design makes it suitable for various environments, blending seamlessly into any setting. I also found 3D printable custom cover for Mikrotik CAP Lite on the Thingiverse, which you can download for free. These are all specifications of the Mikrotik CAP Lite. Wireless standard is IEEE 802.11 BGN, which is 2.4 GHz frequency. Wireless speed is up to 300 megabits per second, which I already mentioned. Antenna gain is 1.5 dBi. It has one 10 slash 100 megabits per second fast Ethernet port. Power supply is supplied with power over Ethernet. The measures are 88 mm in diameter and 20 mm of height. Operating temperature range is between minus 30 Celsius degrees to plus 70 Celsius degrees. Wireless chipset is Qualcomm QCA9531. It has 64 megabytes of RAM and 16 megabytes of flash storage. Please note the specifications may vary slightly depending on the specific model or version. It's always a good idea to refer to the official Mikrotik website or product documentation for the most accurate and up-to-date information. It is also a good idea to press the like button if you enjoy this video, which will help it to reach more people. Thanks for the support. Now let's move on to the setup process. I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step setup of the Mikrotik CAP Lite using the web-based interface and the Vimbox configuration utility. Place your access point on some high place on the wall or ceiling if you can. Then connect it with the power over Ethernet injector and other side of it to the modem, router or switch, depending on what you have. And that should be it. Thanks to injector we have, our access point is powered on and ready to be configured. Let's open Winbox and find the Mikrotik CAP. Once you find it, Double click for username, enter admin. Leave password field empty and press enter. I've already changed my own password, so I'll log in with it. First, I recommend you is to change the default password, which doesn't exist to another. You can do this by clicking system tab 
then select password, then leave old password empty and set a new one. I will show one of easiest options to set up this Migrotic access point. This option is the quick setup, which enables a really quick setup where you basically just open another Wi-Fi access point by typing the desired SSID and password. This is a good solution if you just want to open another Wi-Fi and don't care about anything else. So click on the quick setup on the left upper side. And here we will leave the options as they are basically with small changes. We will leave the WISP AP selected as it is. Then select VPA2 as a security with desired password. Configuration we will set as the bridge. Internet address acquisition will be set to the static IP because I want the specific IP. You can leave it as automatic if you don't know which IP exactly is free and you want to use it. I want static because of the organization of my IPs. And that's it. We'll press apply and OK. This is the fast way to configure Wi-Fi. It is important to take into account other Wi-Fi access points around us. The positioning of the device and making this device to cover a specific region of the space where our existing Wi-Fi signal is pretty weak or there is none. Since I already have existing Wi-Fi from my modem, I want to use this access point to cover my Wi-Fi dead spots or better said, a room which has better wall isolation and the Wi-Fi is hardly present there. So I place the access point in the desired room with a weak or no signal and a high place on the wall. The cable we provide the power over Ethernet thanks to the PoA injector and the other side of the cable is connected to a modem as I already said. I set up an enabled Wi-Fi wireless interface. It is the extension of the existing one, so I use the same name and password. Doing this can cause bad switching between modem Wi-Fi and this access point Wi-Fi, so we need to take this in consideration and plan it to determine or let's say limit the Wi-Fi ranges that they barely touch its, its borders. I've done this by testing with physical positioning of the device and setting the configuration with changing the options like signal strength and selecting different channels. Giving every access point on your network the same SSID is often a very smart move. When initially seeing the list of networks, it reduces clutter because each one will appear to be a separate network. The access point on that network that has the greatest signal is often the one that a client connects to. Additionally, if you move around, the client should immediately reconnect to the strongest signal. You may temporarily lose network access while it switches, but it should be extremely short and you generally won't notice. For example, movies should typically continue playing without interruption throughout this process. The most important thing for it to work properly is that all the access points that provide Wi-Fi with the same SSID should have the same settings in the configuration. There are several drawbacks. When you move around, some clients, computers or smartphones, might cling onto the same access point for far too long and provide subbar performance. If that occurs, the user can manually detach from the network and reconnect to remedy the issue. The other choice would be to give them unique names or build several networks for various uses. Although having many networks might be overwhelming for consumers, it does allow them a little bit more control. My Mikrotik access point is running for two years now, mostly for one room in the house that's far away from the modem range and completely didn't have any problems with it. For the price, this is a great device. The performance and coverage of your wireless network may be greatly enhanced with the flexible Mikrotik CAP Lite access point. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and guidance on adding the access point into your network infrastructure. And that's it. In case you appreciate my work and want to support me, become my Patreon member and use my affiliate links in the description. Thank you. I hope you learned something new 
and found useful information in this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Good luck!